follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you know I'm obsessed with Mexican food. And I eat it out all the time. I go to restaurants to get it all the time. Chipotle is my favorite. But I also make it at home. Okay, and yes. I always talk fast. So a lot of you guys asked for me to show you. Um, I make a really good salsa. My mother-in-law actually taught me how to make it a few years ago. And ever since she taught me, I've just been obsessed. And I bring it to parties and people always love it. So I'm going to show you how to make the salsa how to make some guacamole, and finally, how to make enchiladas. Now, I have said this in every cooking video I've ever done, I am not a chef. In fact, I don't even think I'm that great of a cook, but I really like this, and you guys have asked, so I thought I would show you, especially because I know some of you guys in other countries don't have as easy access to Mexican food, or even in different parts of the states as like we do in California, because we're, I think, I don't know, we just have a lot of Mexican food, I think, because we're so close to Mexico. So. If you guys enjoy this, I hope that your food is yummy, and please don't get mad at me if I don't do things the right way, because I'm not a chef. Okay. All right, let's hop right in. Okay, so we're going to start with the ingredients for the salsa. So what you're going to need for the salsa is going to be diced tomatoes in a can. If you can find them with jalapenos already in them, that's better, because then you don't have to chop them up, and you have like a pre, like amount or whatever pre-cut up amount but I couldn't find them I was at Walmart so I just got some jarred um, jalapenos so I'll show you how we're gonna do that so we're gonna need these we're also gonna need cilantro which I have right here or coriander depending on where you are in the world they taste I guess I thought they were the same thing apparently they're not but they taste that's what I used in Singapore to make Mexican food so uh, cilantro um, lemons we're going to need cumin. Cumin. We're going to need salt. That's just like pink salt that you grind. We'll need olive oil, pepper, and oh, an onion, which I'm gonna get out of the fridge. Onion. This is, I believe it's a sweet Hawaiian onion. Whatever onion you want to use is fine. So let's go ahead and hop right in to making this salsa. Okay, so I forgot to mention you're going to be needing a blender. I'm just going to ah, blend all these things up. So I opened up this can of tomatoes. I'm just going to ah, pour that in. You don't need to chop things up too great because the blender is going to chop a lot of it up. So we're going to take that. Pour that into the blender. Place it in there. Squeeze the juice in. So I'm going to take, um, honestly, about a handful of cilantro. I just kind of grab whatever I want. As you can see, I have quite a bit of cilantro on it. <gasps> Oops. Okay. <laughs> We're going to take our jalapenos, and once again, like, even though this is a recipe, guys, this is just kind of a general gist. Like, really, you can do whatever you want. And some people like more of certain flavorings and less of others. I don't like mine to be crazy spicy, and I've actually found if I don't cut out the center where the seeds are, I actually get really sick. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the seeds for the most part. Take this over here and just chop it up into little pieces. Now we are going to take some olive oil. I don't really ever do a measurement, but I'm gonna say like a tablespoon. The olive oil kind of helps make it sweet. It's one of the ingredients that I really think adds to this, adds a good taste. Okay, so now I'm taking two cloves of garlic. These are actually pre-peeled and frozen. I really like these. I'm just going to crush them. And finally, I'm going to be taking some cumin. Once again, all of it's really to taste. I'm probably gonna take my knife in there and just kind of like, can you guys see that? Scoop that much out. Now, one thing that I learned, if you're using a big blender like this, like if you're using a little magic bullet, you don't need to do this, but if you're using a big blender, to get a better even consistency and not just one part chopped and one part not, I like to take this and kind of pre-stir everything so it's not just in layers and it's all blended more evenly. So stir it up. And now we're going to blend it. I also just realized that I forgot to put salt in the salsa, so you can put that in afterwards. And then I realized it wasn't like flavorful enough. Part of that was because of not having salt in there, because salt really brings out flavors. But part of it was because I didn't put enough flavoring in. So you can adjust it to taste. So let's move on to guacamole. So my mom is eating my salsa while I'm making guacamole. So you start with the avocados, and you cut it in half. <laughs> You're gonna cut them all like this and spin them open. But usually the way to tell if avocados are ripe is you press against it. It should be pretty soft to the touch. And then this little hole right here usually is a stem. It's not on there because I took it off. But you want to take it off. And if the inside, the hole, 
um, is brown, that means it's just soft because it's rotten. If it's green and it's still soft, it's soft because it's ripe. Ta-da! Now the way you get rid of the pit, you want to take your avocado, make sure you're old enough to where you're not going to stab yourself, <laughs> and take this and go kia like that. Oops, no, that didn't work. You get the point. Sometimes it just falls right out afterwards. Kia. Huh? Kia. Like that. See, they just fall out. Now, when chefs are doing it, they do this and it really holds on, but I'm still scared to hit my knife too hard. I don't have very good aim. Like that. See? Yay! I accomplished it. Okay, so then you throw the pits away, or some people save the pits because I have heard that if you keep the pits in the guacamole, it helps it last longer, like if it stays for a few days, but I'm going to throw these away because we're going to eat these for lunch. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your avocados and you're going to take a spoon and you're just going to scoop it right out away from the peel. Yay, like so. You put that in there. And you want to mash it all up. One quick kind of cheat way to start the flavoring before you add other stuff is if you've made salsa, take like a tablespoon like that and just dump it in there. It's a good way to like get it going and start with the flavoring. And I'm just going to take it out here and chop it up a little. And once again, just take however much you want. I take just like a knife tip like that. Drop that in there and then I'm gonna add some salt. Ah, my hands aren't too slippery. You could add lemon or lime in here. Um, like I said, I like it pretty simple, but there's guacamole. Let's move on to enchiladas, which is the part where you're gonna be able to really tell I don't know how to cook, but it's good, I promise. So I'm going to first just dice up all these tomatoes. Um, I'm doing these two peppers, and then I'm going to be doing two different squashes, a zucchini and a yellow squash. So let's get these diced up. We're gonna take some olive oil and put that all over the pan and drop the veggies in. And I also just realized right now and I forgot to put onions in here, so I'm going to let this simmer really low and add an onion. Okay, so now I am pouring mild enchilada sauce. I just got it at Walmart um, all over the bottom of a pan where I'm, where I'm going to be taking a tortilla and just coating the tortilla with the enchilada sauce. And I'm just turning on the pan next to it on low because that is how we are going to get the enchilada type shape thing up my bobber. So I'm just soaking that all in it. Don't worry. My hands have only been in my dog's poop. That's it. Just kidding. They're clean. Anyways. Okay. So putting them on the pan. Now I'm going to be taking my vegetables and also I had pre-cooked some brown rice and I'm going to be scooping that on to the tortilla as you can see with my little mini spatula thingy. And then I'm going to be taking some brown rice and scooping that in there as well. Such a good scooper, guys. <laughs> good job, Nicole. So now I'm going to be taking some, this is actually soy cheese, and I'm just going to be laying it down in the enchilada to make it nice and cheesy. And now I'm taking the ends, and the mixture of the like wet sauce with the tortilla made it a doughy consistency. And as you roll it together, it kind of like sticks together. And you'll see I kind of am able to like push it together, and it gets sticky and... um doughy like almost like there's glue on the tortilla you can see that I'm sticking it together good job sticking the tortilla Nicole a plus so now I'm going to be taking two spatulas it's kind of difficult and it takes some practice to learn how to get an enchilada out and placing it here in this thing so now I'm going to pour enchiladas on the top and cheese and I didn't show that put it in the oven okay So we're taking these out of the oven, although let's see if I can get this out without burning myself because that would be a miracle, guys. I burn myself every time I operate the oven. So cross your fingers. My family is going to eat my food now. I feel like I'm maybe out of focus. Oh yeah, because I focused myself in camera over here. Sorry. Um, they're gonna eat my food now, so we'll film a reaction. Okay. What do you guys think of the food? Tell me, Mom, how is it? Mm. She's lying. It's good. I so, think it's great. It's great. Off screen. Smile. I don't want to put on screen. I was just working on. Okay. Well, my dad hopefully likes his too. Okay, that's it. You guys should try to make it. Bye. Eh. Roll. What do you guys think of the food? Tell me, Mom. How is it? Mmm. She's lying. But yeah. It's good.
dead I so think it's great. It's great. Off screen. Smile. I don't want to put on screen. I was just working out. Okay, well, my dad hopefully likes his too. Okay, that's it. You guys should try to make it. Bye. So, all right, first thing I'm going to cover is the floor. I got a lot of questions in my video about the flooring. This flooring is actually a, oh, there's my dog coming to say hello. Yeah, I have two dogs. I have a German Shepherd and Toby, who's a mixture.